never do that again because I'll never be driving a tractor again. <laughs> Why? When I was when I was thirteen, my cousin came from Kansas with his folks, and we were supposed to go off and, and pick cotton. So. I got on the tractor and I told my cousin Don, I said, you sit on the seat and I'll drive. He got in the trailer. And as we were going across the field, the borders in the alfalfa field, uh, I thought, I'm going to give him a good ride. So <laughs> I pushed the throttle up and or pulled it back. And and boy, we were flying across those borders, and all of a sudden, the, the back wheel of the tractor hit a, went into a little hole, and it threw me against the tire. It had no fenders on it. And I was pulled over by the wheel, the back wheel. And as I was going, I, I tried to pull the, the clutch back. Pulled the, the throttle back instead. <coughs> and the tractor ran over me, and the front tire went, of the trailer went over me, and the back tire, by the time it got right up on top of me, it stopped. And it rolled back. I was 13. It was New Year's Eve. Um, and it broke my leg right up here. And I was put in the hospital, taken to the hospital, and it didn't hurt, but I knew that uh, I knew that it was broken because when I tried to move my leg, it bent here instead of ah. here. And no, no cuts or anything like that. So I held my leg like this when the, when the guy carried our uh, hired hand carried me into the into the car, drove us the 13 miles to town. To the Your parents hospital. didn't drive you; it was the hired hand. The hired hand. Mom was in the. Uh, Dad was someplace else. He wasn't home. But uh, mom was in the front seat and. And the hired hand drove the car. That was J.D. Bickerstaff, the one that we visited in the uh, Bullhead City. And uh, I was in the hospital for three weeks because they couldn't put a couldn't put a cast on it. So I had I laid in a sling with a with a pin through my knee. And um, my leg up in the air, just to pull it apart. And uh, every once in a while, I'd try to move my leg, and it's still bent here. And I thought, <laughs> when will this thing ever heal? It would have started healing better if you wouldn't have bent yeah. it. <laughs> finally, I it didn't bend anymore, and then I knew it was starting to heal. <laughs> And then the doctor told me, he said, it'll never break there again because it's, it's healed over so that uh, stronger um, it's before. stronger than the other place. Mm -hmm. So I'll never do that again. <laughs> oh, yikes.